My name is Andy Bell, I'm the Chief Technical Officer here at DSDL. Uh, DSDL is the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, which is an integral part of the MOD. Primarily, uh, our remit is to maximise the impact of science and technology for the defence and security of the UK. Uh, we undertake that by uh, focusing on a number of different themed areas. Uh, these, these include uh, operational analysis, chemical uh, and biological weapons research, counterterrorism and security, uh, and also integrated survivability, which is looking at uh, protection for, of platforms and uh, of people, personnel as well. All of that is underpinned by a very strong systems engineering capability as well as a very vibrant and exciting uh, futures and innovation uh, work package as well. Chemistry plays a significant role uh, in the work that we do here. Uh, we undertake uh, explosives uh, detection, uh, uh, pyrotechnic development, uh, material science is, is a big aspect of what we do. But one of the major aspects of the chemistry work is that of uh, chemical warfare uh, research and analysis that we undertake. We need to get an understanding of the physical uh, and biochemical properties uh, of the material, so we undertake that type of research. We will then look at ways of, of detecting the material uh, in the atmosphere or on the ground. Uh, we'll also look at ways of protecting personnel and, and, and military platforms against those materials as well. Uh, we'll also look at the, the mitigation of those materials in terms of decontamination if they were used uh, and uh, pull all that together in the research that we do here. My name's Dr Chris Timpley and I'm the Technical Authority here for Organic Chemistry and Analytical Chemistry. The, the main purpose of my role is to assess the hazard from toxic chemicals um, to, for Homeland Security purposes and also for the UK forces. Um, I'm also um, in charge of the uh, designated lab under the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons that we have uh, in the UK here at Portland Down. Uh, that's involved in investigating any alleged use of chemical warfare agents. First of all, we'll, we'll take um, environmental samples, soil samples, it can be paint, fragments of wire, wood, um, and we'll analyse those by a combination of uh, chromatographic techniques uh, using gas chromatography mass spectrometry. And we, we have very uh, good validated and accredited methods for, for looking for chemical warfare agents on the degradation product. We can also look at biomedical samples, uh, hair for instance, and we can also um, look at blood, uh, adducts in blood, and also uh, metabolites in urine, uh, principally by liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry. Those techniques are extremely sensitive and, uh, and very good so that you can actually prove a, a use of, of chemical warfare agents uh, months after the event. Um, one piece of work we did do was uh, prove what was used in the Moscow Theatre siege in, in 2002. We've just recently conducted a fire trial to show that even if people set fire to the land once it's contaminated after use of a chemical warfare agent, nerve agents in particular, but even setting fire to the ground does not hide the evidence because from the charcoal and the charred material we can still uh, extract uh, products that signify earlier use. We've also done work in um, plants where we, we're looking at the plant as, uh, as something that might absorb the agent from the soil and then we can extract that as well as the soil and in the laboratory test we've shown actually the plant will retain the nerve agent far longer than the soil. So again, if there's use, plants are actually quite good uh, materials to, to take as samples and, and extract and analyse by, by the methods I spoke about before. We punch above our weight in terms of the, the, uh, the funding that we get. Uh, we, we do some very innovative uh, and novel uh, detection work here, looking at detection of chemical warfare agents. We push the, the boundaries and envelopes in terms of analysis, both sensitivity and the materials that we're able to analyse uh, on the equipment that we have here. Um, we have some of the world leading uh, protection and decontamination research going on here as well. Uh, I would like to see DSDL maintaining a leading edge in terms of, of chemical warfare uh, uh, research uh, to support both uh, defence and security domains. Uh, to bring in uh, the best chemists we can to work in these areas, which is a particularly interesting uh, and impactful area as well.